Good morning, guys. It's Lisa. I can't show you my face because I'm not actually dressed completely this morning. I am doing a conditioning permanent color treatment through my hair, an earth red one. It's all natural. I'm hoping it's a good product. Um, but look at this. This is insane. That is the instruction in every language you can think of. I have never seen instructions like it. Of course, I had trouble finding the English section, but it's just hilarious. There's just so much information there. Never, ever seen it before like that. Um, and it's also very, very different because I can show you in the mirror what I look like with my hair. I got it washed, and I've got some shampoo sitting in it. But, yeah, you're supposed to wash your hair first before you do the hair coloring with a clarifying shampoo. And again, I've never done that before when I've hair dyed at home. And I always dye my own hair. I haven't been to the hairdressers in years to do it. Just got into the habit of doing it myself. But I've never had to wash my hair beforehand. And I was just reading it. Start by shampooing your hair using the sachet to remove build up, uh, tail dry your hair, comb the hair, put the gloves provided, uncut both bottles, and pour the contents of the colour gel bottle the gel bottle into this Clarifex replace the applicator cap on the Clarifex bottle and shake thoroughly unscrew the tip and use immediately well you go I never ever used shampoo before doing a hair coloring and then they give you shampoo and conditioner for afterwards so it shall be interesting how it looks when it's finished yeah, so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. said that if your hair is really damaged, to let it sit for a couple of minutes before washing it out. So I'm going to do that. And I shall see you soon with a different colour hair. Now I've got the colour in. It's just time for it to sit. And it even comes with a, like a little developer cap. I'm going to leave it in for 40 minutes. It says 30 to 40 minutes on the product box but I'm going to leave it for 40 minutes just because I've got so much grey hair at the moment. Shh! I didn't say that. I don't have grey hair. No I don't. I really don't. Alright, okay. Maybe I do. Okay, so I do. You didn't hear that from me though. I do not have grey hair. So I'm leaving that for 40 minutes and we shall see what it looks like soon. Interesting. I've never worn a developer cap before because all the other hair dyes that I've used, I've never come with a developer pack, developer cap. I'll get it right in a minute. So they've never come with one. So yeah, it feels weird to wear one. It feels very, very weird to wear one. But we shall see how it goes. Oh, I've just noticed I've got a red ear. I hope that comes off. Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick update in regards to the product that I used yesterday. So I put this through my hair yesterday, which was Wednesday, today is now Thursday. So it's been one day since I've had Earth Red um, colour. I really, really like it actually. I've not used this product before, it's from the health food store. Um, we always get, well lately, we have always been getting my hair dye from the health food store just to try and get it as natural as product natural product as possible I'll get it right in a minute just so that the ingredients aren't too harsh um, it did smell a little bit compared to some of the other ones that I've used before but I really like the fact that with this one you use a and reading the instructions really helped me because I hadn't used it before so using a clarifying shampoo to remove the build up and prepare the hair for and to prepare the hair for coloring you towel dry your hair so that's step one so there's a little sachet in there that you wash your hair with I left the sachet in my hair for about 10 minutes only for the fact that I had a lot of grey hairs no I didn't yeah I did I had a lot of grey hairs and I also had really yucky dry damaged hair at the moment it's just because of the change of season it's not a very good it's not good for the hair so I left the clarifying shampoo in for 10 minutes and I completely massaged it in and then I walked around because I did it in the bus so I walked around and did things and then went back and washed it and then I applied the hair color um, make sure you wear the gloves. I had the gloves on my hands, which helped. 
I didn't get any red fingers. Make sure you wear an old towel around your neck. I used an old beach towel so that it doesn't matter if it gets hair dye on the beach towel. And it did. It got heaps of hair dye on it. But it doesn't matter. I can wash it out. Not an issue. Um, make sure that you have the curtains closed down the front of the bus or wherever you are so no one can look in and see you. I left it in. Um, it says you can leave it up to 30 minutes or up to 40 minutes. I left it up for 40 minutes into my hair. Um, I'm hoping I got all of it. I don't have a big mirror to see in the motorhome. So I'm hoping that I got all of it as I was colouring it. If I didn't, there's not much I can do about it. It's done now. But I really like it. I really like how smooth it came out in the end. Because when you've got it in for 40 minutes, then you jump into the shower and you put a little bit of water in and you massage it back in and leave it for a little bit longer, just a few minutes, not long and then you put the shampoo, like you rinse it all out completely until the water's running clear so the water ran really red for quite some time and then once the water was running clear you put the shampoo in that's given to you you leave that in for a little bit and I put the conditioner in and then time it again because you need the conditioner to go through your hair with a hairbrush for five minutes so I brushed my hair in the shower and I, five minutes was up I completely washed the conditioner out and I brushed it out and then I towel dried it I used the same towel that I had around my neck just in case there was any left hair dye left in there and I didn't want to get it onto a new towel and then I hair dried it um, Oh, of course I went and hair straightened it as well. I use a hair straightener on my hair at the moment. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the product. Would I use it again? Yes, more than likely I would. Because I like how my hair feels so good afterwards. It feels like it's given it a treatment. Um, it doesn't smell as bad as some of the other products that I've used. Some of the other products smell so bad that your eyes are watering and you have to leave the room, but you can't leave the room because your head's still connected to you. So wherever you go, you're going to still get sore eyes. So yeah, it's much more gentle. Um, I definitely like the pre-washing of the shampoo. I definitely like the shampoo and the conditioner that's given to you to use afterwards. I like the color chart on the back. Um, so it's great that it's converted into so many languages, but I just think that they needed to be able to package that a little bit better maybe in a little booklet form would be better because you're opening it up and you have no idea where the English section is and to find your section and then to find some other section it's quite confusing um, I like the fact that it had the pictures though because the pictures gave me a clue that I needed to read the instructions because I've not seen one like this before Oh, I like the fact too that it gave you a cap, you wore a plastic cap, like it's just a clear plastic thing that you put over your head. I liked that fact that it went over my head for half an hour, that meant my hair was not going to fall down and go everywhere and get into a mess. I like the fact that I could clean it off the floor because I did drop a bit on the floor. I used soapy water and I got that off the floor. So yeah, I would use this hair product again. Um, no complaints to the product, just in regards to the packaging of the information. Earth Red Colour, it's 4RR, and it's a permanent hair colour, conditioning permanent hair colour. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about how I've done it, or why I did it, or anything about the product, pop them on down below. If you have a hair product dye that I should check out, and you would like me to watch, please leave that below. Um, I'd love to see your YouTube video on any hair dye that you've done and that you would recommend that I should have a look at. I'm always up for new colours, I'm always up for covering up those grey hairs um, and I love watching other people's experience with hair dyes. So let me know if I should watch one of your YouTube videos or if you have a colour that you'd like me to have a look at. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please give this video the thumbs up. I would love to have thumbs up for this video. Please comment below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, we're an Australian family living and traveling in our motorhome. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks, guys. You guys rock. Thanks. See you all next time. Bye.